right? So we're going to start with the word change and get to know what change means. And I have to be very careful with the time because I like talking. So <laughs> this is something else that is back in my mind here. <laughs> <laughs> so change means exactly what? So we can talk about this, right? Change means, by the dictionary, it means to make different, to make something different from what you usually do, to give a different position, course, or direction to something, to someone, or to yourself, to replace something with another, to make different and to change, of course, to make shift from one to another, to undergo a modification of something inside of you or outside, to pass from one phase to another, and oops, sorry, and to become different, of course. So change means to make different, to become different. So to go towards any kind of transformation that you can go or let's say that you allow yourself to go, because it takes, of course, uh, courage, it takes patience, it takes time, all right? So you have to get little by little there. But it, it is something that you make that it, you know, it gonna, it's gonna turn you t into something completely different that you are, little by little, let's remember. Inwardly, and that was like, um, some kind of people, they, they did some kind of joke when I, you know, gave this word. So they, was, they were like, okay, you want to make it difficult, right? What is inwardly? And I was like, no, not difficult. It's just something that, you know, it is the meaning that I want to give it to you. So anyway, so but inwardly means in or on or the inside or inner part. So really inside, okay, within the private thoughts of or feelings. In low or soft tones, or meaning that inside and smoothly, okay? It doesn't need to be like, you know, fast. It doesn't need to be uh, by pressure, by any kind of pressure, no. It is something that it has to go, it has to happen smoothly and according to your, you know, uh, uh, your will, your way to go. Toward the, toward the inside, of course, register or existing in the mind, but not express it to others. Something yours, only yours. So, meaning that it is mentally and spiritually. So we're talking changing the mind, changing the spirit, you know, the real change, not changing only outside, not changing only the face, not changing only your way to, you know, your eyes or, or you know, the way you talk. Ch really changing inside of you, really going towards what is happening to me that I have to change because I'm not happy. You know, because sometimes we make us uh, look happy to the others, but we're not. And we know that. In a way, we know that. And that's where we have to go and look, you know, deep inside and be courageous, of course, as I said, to know that we are not happy, okay, inner speaking, and do something about it. Right? So knowing that what change means and what inwardly means, so we can get both uh, things together. And start to talking about. So in order to change something, we need to know what we want to change, which goes to ourselves. Because th it is the inwardly, the inner change that we want. All right? So, we need to know what we want to change. If, we wanna, if we're talking about changing ourselves, so we need to know who we are. But again, not only the outside. So let's go back to our um, spiritist classes and remember that we are 
immortal immortal spirits right living in a body for now temporarily but the spirits immortal ones and imperfect imperfect spirits right so we're looking for to get more and more and better and better and more and more towards the perfection in the path of our evolution each one of us okay in your speed okay because each one of us has a history each one of us has a life each one of us had friends or have friends in this life or past lives and experiences and everything else so each one of us in its own path okay no hurry don't worry no hurry at all but then knowing that we are immortal spirits and imperfect ones okay so we need really to know ourselves inside but respecting that we are evoluting so that we are going towards you know the perfection so respecting the moment respecting the feelings and respecting the thoughts respecting uh, mainly our weakness or weaknesses because we are we have many right so we have to respect ourselves and then if we want to change ourselves so we need really to know all these little things that we have inside that sometimes we um, hide really hide inside of us we don't want to look at them right so we want to look at the good things only not everything and the bad things no way I'm not that good to look at the bad things that I have in me but we have to in order to to go somewhere you know we have to and as the music the brave song said sometimes we don't understand what we looking at or we what we are looking for but we have to go because that's a reason to be brave because we have to have faith and if you don't understand and it is necessary it is going to happen anyway believe it or not even if you if you don't want it to happen you know by certain time it is going to happen and you're going to have to move you're going to have to go further you know so that's that's why we need to you know face everything that we have inside are we going to be able to do it in one life no no of course not i don't think so i mean i'm sure we don't <laughs> maybe two mm. no <laughs> probably not it's been like what 10 12 20 lives and we're still here right looking for you know fighting against the things fighting against ourselves to you know look at the mirror and see whatever we see not liking what we see but trying to you know so it's not gonna it's not gonna be easy nobody said as they 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 said in 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 our doctrine you know it's not easy but we have to it's not going to be easy at all but we have to and good thing is that once we get to the you know not the, let's not say the religion the spiritism but as a religion but once we get to the point that we get to start to knowing little things here and there you know the truth let's say then there is no way back then you're responsible for it so you get more responsibility so <laughs> that's a mess so i don't know if anybody you know stepped into this door and uh, tonight maybe we still have time to go you know away but if you w went to the class and watched the class you know the seven the seven o'clock class then you have no time anymore no way to go back so because you got to know something and once you know something you get this knowledge <laughs> oh god knowledge is a problem because now i know everything now i know something that it, you know i'm not again ignorant anymore and then you know that makes us like you know fear you know the next step because this ne the next step is going to be based on the previous one 
So if you don't know anything back there, okay, I'm good. I'm going, you know, somewhere, nowhere, anywhere. But once you know, then that's it. Because, you know, we are responsible for knowing everything that we know. And then, uh, of course, we're responsible uh, to know that we have to turn off the cell phones. <laughs> to know, sorry, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding, because they're friends, I know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's, that's the, the main thing. And the Spirit's book, you know, the Spirit's book says uh, something about this to us. And uh, in the question 919, okay, Kardec, uh, he questioned the spirits, saying that what is the most effec effective means for improving, which is a good word, because we're always improving ourselves, improving ourselves in this life and for resisting the draw of evil, okay? And then the answer from the spirits was simple and was straight to the point, okay? A sage of antiquity has told you, know thyself. There was an answer given to him by St. Augustine in that little, you know, that specific question. Know thyself. And a sage of antiquity, you know, has told us. So what are we doing all this time, right? Because back there, really back there, which were like, you know, probably us as well, right? Because we are always, you know, incarnating and reincarnating and living lives and this and that and coming back a little better and trying again, right? So back then, we had the lessons already. So it was a long time ago. And that sage of antiquity was Socrates. And he said, know thyself. So Socrates' guiding rule, know thyself, is of eternal significance. Because it's been, you know, it's, it's been a long time that he said that. And others before him, probably, you know, it doesn't matter the, 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 the religion, it doesn't matter anything. It, it, what it matters is the truth behind the words. And it's been like a long time and then it's been repeating, they, they, they repeating the same thing. So we know that we have to know ourselves. We know that we have to learn about ourselves. We know that we have to, you know, go inside, get it from the heart and, you know, put it outside. So the inside must, you know, reflect, I mean, the outside must reflect the inside. So when do we've been doing the wrong way a lot of times, that we, because we try to, I don't know, again, because probably we don't like ourselves enough, right? We don't love ourselves enough. We're still waiting for the love of God, because God loves us anyway, right? Even with all the imperfections. So, okay, if, lo if God loves us, that's enough. No, wrong answer. We have to love ourselves. So we have to go after it. So we have to do something. And then it reminds me, going a little, a little on the side, it reminds me like uh, that uh, in order to know myself personally, I have to do these things with myself. You know, I have to challenge myself. So I have to see if I'm able to, you know, uh, stand up here. Not that up, because we don't have this little thing anymore. But anyway, stand here, you know, in front of you, in front of myself, you know, in particular, and do what I think I'm capable of. And then I didn't even know back then that I was coming to U.S. one day. I didn't even know back then when I was driving my car in Brazil and trying to understand a little, uh, how do we call that, the little tape, the cassette tape, you know, those little old things. Trying, I don't know if you guys uh, know that Speak Up magazine, <coughs> the English one in Brazil. And I was trying to understand, I remember that. 
trying to understand something that you know the guy was talking about the, the or saying you know a little I mean something a little news in English and I was like at the end of five minutes I was like what is it why am I doing this why am I listening to it because I don't know a word of it and I didn't know back then and I wouldn't imagine that I was gonna be here today doing this in English you know trying to do my best you know here if back then I didn't even know so things happen that I didn't understand that I didn't know but things happen because of my will because I knew I would I had something to do as each one of us know because we know that we have something to do because we're here in the universe we're here in the planet to do something first to ourselves and then of course uh, it's gonna be like a reflection to the others you know so that's that's really weird and tonight it sounds even weirder you know because I'm here I'm here and then I can remember parts of that thing that I was listening you know back then back in I don't know maybe Oh, it's been 20 years here, so probably 30, 35, because <laughs> I'm old. But anyway, and I, l and I know exactly, you know, tonight, the meaning of the words, of some of the words at least. Because there was something that I was like, oh my God, what is that? Why am I doing this? And it was something that probably, you know, the spirits or, the, or, or whoever, you know, out there, <laughs> was doing a putting in my head even if without me knowing it right to get to know myself later a little bit more about myself later to get to know that I'm able to come here and go through all these years and these you know steps and get here tonight and do this in English. Who would know that would be possible? My mom? Never. She doesn't even know that I speak English, I guess. Okay, she knows. Of course, she knows because I'm here, you know. <laughs> but she doesn't speak English anyway, which is okay. Which is okay. She, she's, you know, she's, she's the way she is, and she's there, and she's on her path. You know, for her evolution with whoever, you know, she is with and whatever she's doing. But that's not the point. The point is each one of us are going to uh, look for whatever we have to do. And even if we don't understand, we have to be brave to get there. And not let the opportunities go away. So that's the main point, right? So the Socratic approach begins with the assumption that a lack of knowledge, and back then, knowledge in English was totally lack, right? I didn't have any. <laughs> a lack of knowledge of the self is simply a form of ignorance, which must be overcome by the ability to seek self-knowledge. So self-explanatory, right? So we have to overcome ignorance, so we have to overcome this in order to do something else, in order to be someone else new, you know, next second, next minute, because we're going to be different next minute, right? Every sentence that I say here, it changed something into you guys, and it changed because I'm listening here, it changes in myself as well, right? So the soul the spirit must be cross-questioned out of its ignorance and into itself. So that would be the main, the main idea. We have to question ourselves about every single thing. If we're doing right, if we're doing wrong, if we're doing, why we're not doing it? You know, every single, every single second of life, we have to do this. Because sometimes we find ourselves in a in a place that we don't like, you know, sometimes we come to the spirits, uh, centers, 
because we are in pain, because we don't understand what's going on in our lives, you know? And we don't look for the answers within ourselves. We look for the answers in the spirit center. Okay, I need a fraternal, you know, conversation. I need somebody to help. I need to go to the, you know, the treatment, the spiritual treatment. I need to go to do something. I need to go to the medium, you know, uh, uh, reunion, the mediumship reunions and the nights that I, whatever. It doesn't matter. But we don't look into ourselves to know what am I doing, really? What have I done, really, to get myself into that position that I don't like, right? So the main thing is changing inwardly is going back to yourself, going back inside, okay? So again, in the Spirit's book, same question. We call it uh, 919A, right? Because it's a little part of the other question. Uh, Kurt asks a, a, a question, the Spirit's, we comprehend all the wisdom of that maxim Okay, but the difficulty is precisely in knowing ourselves. Of course, nobody said it was going to be easy, as I said, right? But, but by what means can we do so? And then St. Augustine comes, and you guys that, you know, at least if you haven't read the Spirit's book, at least you know the story, of course. The St. Augustine came and answered, Do what I myself used to do during my life upon the earth. At the close of each day, I examined my conscience, reviewed all that I had done, and asked myself whether I had not failed in some duty during the day, whether someone might not have reason to complain of me. It was in this way that I succeeded. In his case, of course, he worked, and I guess well, because he said that, in obtaining a knowledge of myself probably was little by little, as we said, and in ascertaining what there was in me that needed reforming. So that was his way to look back every single day and find out whatever you know he had done in his view wrongfully to get better next day. I always like to say and that we have this chance every single night and it makes it easy to me and I like saying that I don't know where is Alini, Alini knows that very well, she likes it uh, that we, usually we think about, you know, the reincarnation a different life so we can get better next life, okay sometimes we say, no, not in this life, I'm not able to do that anymore I'm not able to forgive that person in this life, it's gonna, you know, I'm gonna leave it to the next one let me think about something else. I'm not able to forgive myself in this life for this kind of thing because, you know, it's very difficult. And then we think about next life. We think about what? Maybe 40, 50, 70, 80 something years, you know, in the future to come back eat this to uh, just die, right? Then you have the time that you have to stay l over there in that position uh, umbral one, right? That we have to go there, of course, and we're going to stay there. And then you have the time that you have to go and uh, prepare yourself again to get back. And then you have the time to get back. And then you're going to think about it without the memory, which makes it even more difficult, without the memory of the past life, to get better in this thing that you back then said next life. So, how difficult it is. Why are we making this to ourselves? Next life, come on, let's do it now, right? Let's get this inside our minds. Let's do it now. And f to me, particularly it works when I think about reincarnation uh, every day. So when I wake up in the morning, it's a new life, okay? And I go through my life going everything, doing everything, every single thing, meeting persons and this and that, going through situations, blah, 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 as if it was a real long life of 80-something years. 
And then when I go to sleep, go to bed at night, I'm not going to do this that St. Agustin did because it doesn't work to me, of course. I, I would fall asleep like it, you know, not even start thinking, but, but that's me anyway. But then I look to my day as a one real long life. And then when I go to bed, I am dying. What have I done during the day to make my life useful? and worth it. You know what I mean? It makes it easier that way. Because you can think about your life during the day. So you make it short and shorter than everybody else and then everything else, like the 80 something years to you know get everything done. No. Okay, sorry, one life done and finished. What have you done? Nothing? Okay, tomorrow you have a new life, you, have, you can reincarnate. And with one good thing, you have memory for past, from the past life, which makes it even easier, because you can remember, because if you live to the next life according to, you know, dying, really dying, body, blah, 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 mm -hmm. not gonna happen. When you come back, you don't have memory of anything. So it works. It's not like San Agustin said, but to me it works very well. So I can, you know, try to do everything in this life, meaning today. Trying to get everything, trying to accomplish, you know, the things that I want. And then it comes another example based on San Agustin and myself. Oh. Yeah, Mauro's way. <laughs> Then it comes another example, which you know it, it is more towards to you know Saint Augustine anyway. But it was, it is the example of Benjamin Franklin. I don't know if you guys heard about this guy. You know, he's very well known as uh, I don't know president of the U.S., but I don't remember exactly the number. <laughs> but I read, but I haven't uh, you know I haven't got into my mind. But back in his uh, middle 20s or late 20s, Benjamin Franklin, he listed 13 virtues that he felt were an important guide to self-awareness and inner transformation for living. So Benjamin Franklin was a really, um, let's say, good guy, of course, but weird guy. <laughs> because he had all these things that he had, you know, he had done in the past, like, you know, inventions and blah, 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 and politi politics as well. And I got to know when I was reading about him that he, he was very well accepted in every single religion or church or place or, you know, whatever, you know, and whatever he went because he was looking for the truth. He wasn't looking for the religion itself. And so he, s he could talk to people, you know, from different places and different religions because he was looking the inside. He was looking for something more important than, you know, people's opinion or anything like that. So that was something that, you know, it made him uh, uh, go towards, you know, uh, in an easy way, let's say, from one place to another and get to know and get to learn things differently, you know, different views of it. So he get those uh, the those uh, he listed these thirteen virtues that he you know himself called the thirteen virtues, and there was another you know another thing another way to do things. That he was like he listed all these thirteen things, okay, the virtues that he said, which were like based uh, on the uh, eight beatitudes from Christ, but not exactly this but he had his uh, 13 ones, 13 words, right? And they were temperance, silence, order, resolution, frugality, industry, sincerity, justice, moderation, cleanliness, tranquility, chastity, and humility. So 13 things, and his, and his uh, 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 way to go, you know, through these was, he would get uh, one of each, to get the best out of it for a week, only one. So one week, I'm gonna uh, practice temperance. So 
the entire week he was he would you know be doing this only this focus on this and trying to get his concentration only on one thing like that and it was it was really really nice because he could get you know four times a year in each one of them if we do the math okay and he could concentrate and there was one way for him to get better to get himself better okay and get to know himself a lot so he was probably during one entire week doing one of these little things if you go and and look for and read about it you're going to know exactly the meanings of each one of them that he was looking for but in the end he was looking for those things and get those things inside him to get him better okay so that was what one really interesting interesting that i i thought about and, and i found for an example and again going towards the spirits book uh says to us about again inner transformation which you know is a lot of things as you can see that for individuals ideas are modified little by little for us and generations are needed to completely erase old habits transformation therefore can only be realized with time and gradually little by little so ideas are modified little by little and transformation real transformation as well so based on that spiritism our doctrine only would work or only works uh when it touches your heart our heart each one of our hearts the miracle is your transformation yourself your awakening your conscious return to love to love god to love yourself to love one another like jesus christ as our master and friend okay your uh transformation your return to respect your return to freedom and these basically not only but mainly to yourself always first okay so to respect return to freedom return to compassion and return to the balance which is so sorely needed for your growth so we going to grow we're going to grow up we're going to grow old we're going to grow better that's the main thing we are able to so we need to look these things for these things okay in and in, in the andre luis in his uh book in the realms of mediumship and i like this passage because i think it has everything to do with the with the subject he says that we are instruments of the forces we tune with good ones bad ones peaceful ones disturbing ones it doesn't matter you pick it is each one's pick okay you can go after whatever you want so but we are instruments of the forces we tune with all right so each one of us based on that sends out with our thoughts and feelings a specific rays from the heart and that that specific part from the book is really really important and really really nice a specific rays from our hearts are sent out and we live in the spiritual wave we are identified with in the spiritual wave that we create from our heart okay so that's what we call electromagnetic field of the heart that it is what it is and again self explanatory from your heart to outside and then you create whatever you have back to you so basically you get to know if you get to know your heart you get to know yourself by the reflection that you get out there so basically again whatever you see <coughs> out there coming towards to you it is yourself so if you don't like better change yourself 
right? Better start. So everything around us, every single thing, reflect our thoughts, feelings, and actions. Everything out there is an echo of ourselves, as I said. So life itself is an echo. What you send out comes back to you. What you sow, you reap. That's really, really the truth. What you give, you get. And what you see in others exists in you. So this thing makes me think, and, uh, and that, that next slide I got from, uh, from another lecture of mine in Portuguese. But this thing that life is an echo, it makes me uh, think and believe that we have to change. Because the only thing that really changes are ourselves, nothing else. Nothing else in the universe changes. You change. The everything else out there is a reflection of yourself. So you change. So then, based on that, we change, not people or things around us. And then I like to say that, you know, according to your glasses, the glasses you are using now, you can see the things the way you want, or if you change your glasses, you can change the way you look at them. Have you tried that, changing glasses for every single person situation? You like that, right? When he knows that. Really, really, it works. It works. Change your glasses. If you're not able to do it, like, you know, mentally, do it physically, if you have to. Buy some pairs. Buy some different pairs. And when you, f you know, find yourself in front of a situation, a person you don't like, or you, you know, find some difficulty on dealing with or whatever, okay, let me change and see if Mauro, whatever Mauro said is true, right? Because I'm going to see differently. Because if you change your glass, you know, for someone or for one of that, that it doesn't work, you know, to you, that it is a strong, you know, really more strong than whatever you need or you have whatever you say, you're going to see blurry. So you're not going to see anything. So maybe you need something, you know, different, weaker, you know, so you can see things differently, maybe more focused, right, more, you know, sharp. Right? So think, think about that and change. Because whatever, you know, we're talking about what change, what really changes is the way we look at them. And then today, today I was talking to a friend of mine and then she was saying, oh, because I, I had a person in, in front of me and I was really angry at, you know, at her. And then, because this happened and, uh, and then she was doing this and that and cursing me, whatever, you know, the situation was. And then I said, but we don't know what, I what is happening for real with that person. Because you're seeing only what you want to see. Because even if you change your position, you know, in front of that person, and you're here, and the person is right in front of you, and she's angry at you, and you're looking at this, and you don't change your position, if you do this, you're going to see another part of that person. And you're going to see that a knife is like stabbed in her back. And that's what is making her angry. Not you. <coughs> but you're only seeing because you're here. Change yourself a little bit. And you're going to see a little bit different. Little angle from that person. And maybe you can see whatever is happening for, you know, to her that is making her so angry. Let's do something for ourselves. Let's change our position. I'm not going to change that person's position. I'm not going to make her change. She's angry. She's not going to move. But I can move. I can go wherever I want. I can change glasses. OK? Sometimes we don't want to see, so we close our eyes, right? It doesn't exist. I'm not seeing. Don't we do that? So we can open up our eyes a little more than we are think, thinking about, you know, being able to, and then we can see more, right? So we have options. We have 
uh, really many options. Okay, so we have the uh, if it comes not working, and I work there. And <laughs> that's my field, then. <laughs> yeah, right. See, see, you see. Not working at all. That's all right. We know the tricks. Because I do these to the speakers. That's why they're doing to me. Oh my God. See? <laughs> so we have an option. We have the old, you know, and the new ourselves. Okay? We can choose. We can pick. So we can make a change for sure. We can change our mind, our thoughts, our actions. We can change ourselves, as I said. So I'm going to show you a video that I think has every single thing to do with the subject today, you know? And I guess you're going to like, so please, if you can uh, turn off the lights and this one as well, please. See? <laughs> The boss, I'm the boss. <laughs> <laughs> and then I hope you guys enjoy. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so for how long are we going to delay that change? Right? For how long are we going to delay that? So we have to do it. So you can choose St. Augustine way, you can choose Mauro's choose Mauro's way, you can choose, you know, Benjamin Franklin's way, you can, you know, do whatever you want, you can find your own way to do things to do that change happen. But we have to change. Okay, Plutarch once said what we achieve inwardly change outer reality. So that's what we have to do. Okay, silently. Nobody needs to know. They're gonna, they're gonna, you know, uh, feel your changes. They don't, they don't need to know. You don't need to speak out loud. They don't, they're gonna feel it. They're gonna feel it for sure, okay? So just to illustrate, you know, every single thing we said and we spoke about it tonight, there is a mirror, there is ourselves, and we have to change the man in the mirror first. All right? You guys have a good night. Buon noite. And thank you.